Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick unboxing today. I think I had previously unboxed this when this first came out. This is the unnamed perfume. As you can see, there's no name on it. And the first release was actually back in 2016. I think it was celebrating their 10 year anniversary. And it was only for available for a limited amount of time. And I picked one up from a recommendation actually. I it was my first biredo purchase and I'm almost out of it and I've been asking for when they were thinking of restocking and it was this year in 2019 in January that they finally restocked it and it is only going to be available for a limited amount of time as well. So it comes in the same packaging and I believe it only comes in one size the 100 milliliter and it retails for $250. So this has a sleeve. And then these stickers, they're semi perforated. So you have to break them apart by, I usually just try to go back and forth to rock them back and forth like that to break both sides. So it just comes apart just like that. And for some reason, the last one that I got didn't come with the kit to stencil your name on it. And I didn't bother to go back to ask for it because it was my first time purchasing it and I wasn't sure if it did actually come with it. But after I looked at all the marketing material, I found out that it does. So it comes with a stenciling kit for you to put whatever you want on it. I think it's no surprise that I'm going to put tutorial fill on it and I'm going to show you in this video of putting it on as well so you can see the process. And this is probably the instruction booklet. So this tells you how to make or how to name your bottle. So they'll just transfer on and then you use this stick to transfer each letter on. But you're probably going to have to measure it a little bit if you want it perfectly centered or you can also do a different design as well. It doesn't have to go straight across. It's really up to you. And I think that's a really cool feature. They also do, I know Byredo also do does hot stamping for the leather goods as well. Although they limit you to three letters, I believe. And I think everything else is the same. So here is the bottle, very typical. And it's made in France. So on the bottom, you can see it there. It's a hundred milliliters. And then there's this little wooden pen, I guess you could say there's no lead or anything, but that's what you're going to need to use in order to stencil the name on it. And just for comparison, I do have my original bottle. So I can actually maybe even stencil it on the original bottle first to try it out. So maybe you can kind of see it's almost gone, but I, I mean, it still has definitely quite a few number of sprays, but you can kind of see it's, I would say maybe there's about 20% left for this one. And this is obviously full, just unbox this one. So I'm going to show you how the transfer works, the transfer letters. I pre-measured it and it turns out if I want to put tutorial fill on it, it's almost going to go edge to edge. So I'm going to have to space out each letter pretty narrow. It's going to be pretty close. So the kerning is going to be a lot closer. And what I'm going to do, because I want a straight line, is I'm going to put this color tape on it so I can kind of have a baseline of where I want to position the letters. All right, so that's pretty much going to be my line for where I'm going to put the label. And for sartorial fill, I just on a image program, I measured what the halfway point is. And it's basically almost at the edge of the R, the second R. So 
they only give you one R, so with these sheets, I'm only going to be able to do sartorial fill once because I need two R's. So what you're supposed to do is remove this film first in the back and you can reuse this after you put on the letters to help press on the letters. So I'm going to align the R near the E because that's also where the midpoint here is. So I'm basically starting from the middle and then I'm going to move out from there. And then they just said use this wooden pen tool to rub it on. And because these letters are kind of close together, you want to make sure you don't rub all over the place because then you might get a partial stick for an unintended letter. So hopefully that is going to stick. So you can see here I unintentionally stuck two other letters. So I'm going to kind of have to use this tool again to kind of... So unfortunately I lost two letters, although I won't be using the C, but I did need two L's. So that means I'm going to be a, need to be a little bit more careful and I'm just going to do the rest of them for you. And then the final step that you said to use this transfer paper on top to help it set. So that is the finished product. I think it looks pretty cool. So this will definitely, I will keep as a display piece. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good like from afar it might actually look like it was printed on but I mean you can certainly just print a label and stick it on there as well it is the unnamed one and I do have quite a few letters left but I don't think I have enough for sartorial fill but I think I can modify some if I did want to do a second one or I can just make this fill or S fill or something like that. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. And I hope to see you in my next video.